Um, hey, would the kill switch be a continuous... Would that be completing a circuit? Is open. When you push it, it closes. Let's keep kicking. What am I missing? Took it harder. It's a 125. I'm getting close. <laughs> <laughs> No way, dude. Okay. Oh shit. You want me to take it? You okay? Oh. I got you. Ready, you good? Yeah, baby! Woo! Dude, that was awesome. So today is test day. Five Miles to Hell is one week away, so we're gonna take these bikes out to a local riding area, um, put some miles on them, shake the cobwebs out, and make sure everything is gonna be okay for the ride. My bike is awesome, I'm not worried about it at all. I'm a little worried about Ray's, but we'll see how that goes. Chase, he's kinda on his own because his bike isn't even together yet. But the other four, let's go load them up and see how they do. Start and bump start. Come on. Cool. Ready? It's gonna be fun kicking that on the trail. So we're up at West Mountain and we're at an old motocross track. They used to race this in the 70s and 80s, so pretty fitting place for these bikes. In fact, hey, this bike, could, this have even, bike it could have even raced here back in the day. You oh, don't know. No, it care. did, for sure. I know but it, it did. Yeah. We got one week left, and he's just barely throwing his together. <laughs> Floats are sticking. Plug fouled. He's not ready. Pipe's leaking. So he's he's got some work to do. Hopefully it'll run today. Electric start. Best thing here. If you can win a test for practice, this will be the day. I got it. Power. So Ray is out of town. He's actually with Brock Glover. They're down in Moab doing some side winners, by side winners rally. Fantasy. Yeah. So having a good time. Uh, my bike's in shambles, still at Rocky Mountain. It's getting close, but Ray's not here. So today we're riding almost all the bikes except for mine. So I got roped into riding Ray's XR500 just to make sure it can handle a little bit of riding because obviously today is not going to be a comparison to five miles of hell, but we at least have, have, have to have a baseline to make sure that they're somewhat reliable. So we're going to ride it today and see how it goes. This, this is not very comfortable, but it looks good. Ha <laughs> ha! 
it's gonna. How did you get in that situation? Oh crap! <laughs> that just about went down the wrong way. <laughs> Oh, the bike's feeling pretty sweet. I'm a little disappointed I broke my Speedo off though. You know, the bike's running dang good. It's running better than I thought. I thought I was gonna be jetting it, but it's a little rich on top, but it's not like I ride there very much, so. Uh, so far so good. Suspension is unbelievably soft still. Um, but again, speed's not gonna be an issue on this trail. And I will, I might need to rejet it a little bit. Run a little rich. Ray has a lot to look forward to. <laughs> We're on the struggle bus over here, dude. Well, it's yellow. That's right. Uh, it's fun to ride when you can scream it, but I have a feeling that five miles of hell is not gonna be a lot of that. So I better just take it easy on it for the rest of the day because I want it to last until five miles of hell at least. So check out this cool little skull I found. That's gotta go somewhere on the bike. I'm thinking like back here or something. What do you think? Test day complete up here at West Mountain. We all had a ton of fun. I think some of the the bikes are running a little better. And uh, I was just trying to save mine to make sure we could make it to five miles of hell. But I think it was a successful test. We have one week now until we head down to five miles of hell. So we're gonna take all the bikes, get them all cleaned up and make sure that we didn't break anything and all the fun we were having today. So the next stop is five miles of hell. Dude, I finished this thing last night and we leave tomorrow. So, engine's rebuilt. We have a top or a bottom end's completely done. I got a, I had to scrap, I had to scrap a few items that I did want. So I got rid of spoke kit, some other items that I wanted so I could get a piston in there. So, I almost have a completely brand new motor top to bottom. Not every seal or every bearing was replaced, but most of them. So, motor's so in. you did do a piston? Yeah, we ended up getting a piston in there, but I had to scrap. Uh, ultra heavy duty tubes. I didn't do a spoke kit, so I'm missing a spoke. A lot of them are loose still, so I still gotta try and tighten those up. Um, it makes you I didn't rebuild my shock because I didn't have budget for it. I did my fork seals, but not my shock seal. And uh, I've got oil from two different brands. Same weight, but I've got two different brands of oil in the engine because I scrounged that. Two different brands of fork oil. Um, and uh, yeah, so I had to sacrifice a few things, but the motor's good. Everything's put together. It starts up every time. Start it up. Let's Start see. it up. You want to see it? He pulled it off. I didn't. I didn't think he could. Thanks. Thankfully, he had Charles helping him. But, Charles did definitely help me out. But he pulled it off. But if he breaks a lever on the trail and goes <laughs> over budget, I mean, if he breaks a lever and has to use a new lever, he's over budget. Come on over this way. So. Gotta explain myself a little bit. Here's my items. Bike, 150 bucks. As you go down, you see everything that I bought. $708.51. I'm over. But, here's what we realized. The brake and clutch levers here for $13.58, those aren't on the bike, at least not yet. So I don't have budget for wraparound handguards, so I bought extra levers just in case. If I don't use them, this 1358, we decided will not count against me. First bike running, last bike ready. <laughs> As you can see, I gotta figure something out here. Yeah, I got pretty beat up from West Mountain. Trying to grip it and rip it. Putting on new grips right now. Got a little bit better, different bar here. Getting it set up, ready for the trip. Just some last minute uh, fixes, adjustments. Just make sure all the spokes are tight. Found some few loose ones and I would hate to taco a rim out in five miles of hell. Um, other than the spokes, I think I'm good to go. I just added this custom seat cover. Should do a little bit better than the stock one. So we're good. Like it was meant for it. I don't know what else to do. At this point we're committed, right? Yep. <laughs> From the rush. The third one bro. Oh. Hey, I like the heat. 2X. It's a rock hard. 2X, bro. It's not the bell. I don't know if this thing will fit. Ow. <laughs> yeah, that don't work. <laughs> hey, that was way better. No, it don't. That looks good. Safety second, dude. So everyone was complaining about the baffle being gone. So I had this old uh, insert from my Lex exhaust that, that I riveted on with some uh, Yama Bond. 
and uh, everybody says it sounds a lot better now. But it had like some sharp, crazy edges going on, so uh, Chancellor being the uh, nice guy is put some nice uh, uh, there's tape soft. around it. Whatever. Dude, that's my makeshift skid plate. What the hell is he giving you that for? I don't know. Man, he wants it, you want it. This won't even work. Plate. Give me my skid plate. Why? Ah. There's another piece right there. All right, we got skid plates, too. <laughs> Uh, luckily, there's already holes cut out, so all we gotta do is just cut it to the right length and bend her up, make her fit. Yeah, I need to cut my Purdy. fender. I need to use your saw, Janie, and get a nice clean cut on my fender. Get off Custom. My Ronnie Mac style up here on the top. Working smarter, not harder. You found a washer, hammered it in there, and so it's got a little whistle to it. Some of it will be usable. So <laughs> There you go. Just the little center strip, a little bit. That's it. actually not a bad idea. Yeah. Nice and tight. <laughs> so yeah, there. Yeah, now there we go. go. There's your, there's our duct tape for the ride. <laughs> That's what? You know, I, I made fun of everybody for having handguards before, but yeah, it'd be wise for me to put on handguards. I had about forty something dollars left in my budget, so I'm gonna do handguards. That's gonna put me right at the limit, though. I have like a dollar twenty eight to spare, so nothing else can go wrong. Since West Mountain, since we did our first test ride, I went home, I changed the oil. I, I fixed my speedometer. I JB welded my speedometer back together. So, you know, it broke when I hit that jump. I, I changed fork sills and I gotta say, they were the hardest forks I've ever had to change. The bolts were stuck together, the sills were stuck. It ended up being quite the challenge, but I had hardly any oil in the forks. They were just like pogo sticks. Now I have oil, they feel way better. I think that's gonna be, I think that was important to do. That's my good luck charm right there. If that breaks off, my good luck is gone. I'm, I'm ready, I'm just throwing on the hand guards. I may or may not, if, depending on time, fabricate a skid plate for it, but I got, I got some quick epoxy if I break a case, so we'll see if I get to the skid plate. My levers are like so long. So since I have hand guards, I'm not really worried about stabbing myself with them. So I'm gonna shorten them up, take the ball off again. Wes, put these on your bike. Trust me, it's gonna need it. <laughs> Thanks, dude. So bike's complete. I stayed under budget, so I'm not disqualified. I ended up spending $196.55. So very close to that $200 budget. The biggest thing in that bike was the carburetor. There was a lot of internal parts that needed to be replaced and that can get pricey. So, but luckily we did it. So for $700 or slightly under $700, I've got a pretty good running machine. Hopefully able to do five miles of hell. For once in my life, I'm gonna live up to my reputation. See on the trails. So I'm building me a grab handle for the back. That way if I have to pull up my bike or or you know pick it up, I'm not gonna grab my flimsy sun rotted fender and break it. I'll have a nice handle. May as well do something with those old blinker mounts, right? Oh yeah. That's seriously my skid plate, dude. No, it ain't. This is my skid plate. Yeah. Where did go? This is mine. Where did your other one go? I think Chase used it. It's a custom skid plate. It's actually pretty awesome because I don't think I've ever seen Chase do any fabricating. So, so what you need is something back here to keep it from sliding, sliding back. down. Yeah. And this keeps it, holds it up. So you want to go as far as you can up right. here. So your, your piece is too short. Blanket's taking one for the team. I found a piece of Kydex plastic. Now I just gotta heat it up a little, bend it up around my frame, and I'll have a sweet skid plate. 
Oh, look at that. Like butter. Check it out, dude. Stylish and comfortable. That's gonna be sweet. One side bolted on. Now it's just about taking calculated measurements. We told, we told uh, Chase he's in charge of carrying the duct tape. So that's his uh, duct tape job it right looks there. all right. I added some so we have a little more usable duct tape. Ain't right no here. one got time for that. That's just... Let's talk about the important thing though. There's already foul play involved because somebody's zip tying stuff on my bike. My kill switch had a zip tie on it. My sprocket had a zip tie on the chain. My Kickstarter was zip tied, so can't wait to see what else I find on the trails. Oh, <laughs> that's all right. No, that's too tight. Take it off the stand, I'll bet it's way tight. Oh my gosh, you guys are so retarded. <laughs> oh, now I gotta go get the damn dikes again. I forgot to turn my pet cock off because you erased my perfectly written sign. Can you guys have something better to do with your time? Dang, I dropped a nut and it didn't hit the ground. You finally dropped a nut? Yeah. I lost it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Oh my god. I didn't I tried to eyeball the holes drilling it. I was like, yeah, I'll just do one side. Feel how, <laughs> feel how sturdy that thing is though. There's a there's a reason Chase works in video, not in the fab shop. Oh yeah. <laughs> as long as the J O B gets D O N E at the end of the day, we're all right. Okay guys, day of reckoning. We've all done what we could on the bikes, as you can see. I've got shafts front and rear. Now these are the essentials. We got the bikes running, but we also needed some help to get through the trail. So I think we're all pretty excited. We've done everything that we can and we're ready to hit the trail. So we'll see if that enthusiasm continues tomorrow. We'll see you guys at the trailhead. This is the Five Miles of Hell Challenge starting right now. Are you kidding me? I had that. We've only been out here for no scavenging going on. What? Six hours? Six and a half? We made it halfway. 